Okay, so first of all, I'm going to go to insert and then insert a symbol. I'm going to change the font to this font here and then scroll down until I find the light bulb symbol. Then I will double click on the symbol to insert it. Then select this cell here and put the symbol in the middle and make it bigger and also change the colour to grey. Then I'll type in the word on here and apply some conditional formatting to this cell. So go to conditional formatting and new rule. Then use a formula to determine which cells to format and the formula will be if this cell here is equal to the word on and as the word on is in text I have to put it in quotation marks. I'm assuming you're not actually using the word on to switch your light bulb on and off so you'll need to adjust this formula for whatever criteria you're using. Then go to format and change the font colour to be a golden yellow and OK and OK again and now the light bulb has changed colour and if I type in the word off it will change back to grey. I can type whatever I want in this cell like one or just have the cell be completely blank and it will stay as grey because that is the default colour. The only thing that will make it change colour will be to type in the word on. And that is the first method for having an on off light bulb in Excel. The second method involves using a graph and a picture. So I searched in Google Images for a light bulb on and off and found this image. And I will right click and copy image, then go back to Excel and control V to paste. That is much too big so I'll go to picture format and change the height to 10 centimeters. Then I'll crop this image to get rid of the bottom part of it and also the shadows. Then select this shape again and control D to duplicate it. Then I'll crop this image so I have just the off light bulb and this image so I have just the on light bulb. Then I want to remove the background from both of these images so I'm going to do that by selecting it and going to picture format and then choosing remove background. Then I need to mark the areas to keep just by drawing over them. and mark areas to remove also by drawing over them and then keep changes and I'll need to do the same thing to this picture as well. Okay and then I need both of these pictures to have the same sized border around the light bulb. If not it will make it look like the light bulb is moving around when I switch between them. So I'm going to crop both of these until the picture is right at the edge of the light bulb. And then to check that they are both lining up properly, I'm going to select one of them and then hold down control and select the other and then align them to the center and align them to the middle. Then while I still have both shapes selected, I'll hold down shift and resize them because I only need a small light bulb. Then I'll separate them both out again and now I'll add in a formula which will be equals if this cell here is equal to the word on in quotation marks and again if you're using different criteria to switch your light bulb on and off you'll need to adjust this part of the formula. 
then if it is true, I will put in the number one. And if it is not true, I will use the NA error. And this will stop the data point from being plotted in the chart. And then close brackets and enter. Now I also need a second copy of this formula, which will be very similar, but the test will be whether it is the word off. Then I'll go to insert and insert a scatter chart. Then right click and select data and then add a series. The first series will be called on, the x value will be one, and then the y value will be this value here and OK. Then we'll add in another series. This one will be off. The x value will again be one and the y value will be this value here and OK and OK again. Then I want this blue dot here to be in the middle of the chart. So I'm going to adjust the axes so the maximum is two. Then I am going to delete everything else. So I don't need the grid lines or either of the axes. And I also don't need a border or a fill. I want literally just this one dot. And then I'll resize this. Now at the moment it is switched to on. So I'll select the on light bulb and press control C to copy it, then select the blue dot and do control V to paste. And now I've replaced the blue dot with the yellow light bulb. Then I'll change it to off and then select the off light bulb and control C to copy, select the orange dot and control V to paste. And I've replaced the orange dot with the off light bulb. Just resize that a little bit more. And now I no longer need either of these pictures, so I can delete them. And now if the light bulb is switched on, this will become the number one and the on series will be plotted in the chart and I'll see the switched on light bulb. Then if I change it to off, then the on series will no longer be plotted and the off series will be plotted and I'll see the off light bulb in the chart. Now I'm also going to click on this to ignore the error to get rid of the, the green triangle and I'll change this to on and do the same thing here. Then I'll put both of these values in the center, decrease the font size, then put the chart over the top. Of course, you can hide those values multiple different ways. I'm just choosing to hide them with the light bulb. And then if I change this to off, the light bulb will be off. And if I change it to on, the light bulb will switch on. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make a light bulb switch on and off in Excel. And that is everything.